I've been Suman, aka Hi Hat Scar with George. How you doing, George? We're gonna do an inner core test. Hold on, this the is AITs. Make sure you hold the AIT. You got it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 45. Yes, that's how we test things at ICS. We actually test them. We don't just think about it. We put through the hard effort to test things. Massaging the envelope to make the perfect setup. To make one more pass, we'll do three after. Okay. We'll You're do one more. all three, right? As you speak? Yep. Okay, great. And then we'll do one more. So we lost five horsepower in that one pull. Yep. Now, now we'll do a third pull. We lose in the third pull. On pump gas. Six hundred even. So, so we lost, lost power. eleven horsepower that pull. We lost eleven horsepower so in the third pull. What did AITs go on the third pull? All right, let's see. The pull to one hundred and sixty-one degrees. Holy shit! So now we are going to change this Brand X intercooler for a busher race front mount and see if there's any difference. You want to know something? I'll be the first motherfucker. If the busher one does not improve this situation. Then it's not the inner core, it's something else on the setup. <laughs> it is what it is. If the inner core helps, then God bless the inner core. Right? I mean, hey, it goes turbo right to the inner core, so. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm just saying, it's, it's, we'll see what it is. Did you? Get Freddy. Get, Get Freddy. Freddy and have Freddy. This is how we do it at ICS. We are all about um, actual in practice results, not theory. Not theory, not principle, not idea, not conception, but we're, we're about actual reality. What happens, right? Yes. So we are going to remove this intercore from the car, which we suspect is not working optimally, and we are going to replace it with a smaller, yet possibly better designed busher race front mount intercore, and we are going to test it. Yes. What are your uh, what are your observations about the the design of this intercore, the end tank design, and the way the intercore is? What do you think? It looks good. It looks good, right? Oh. You know what's interesting? This is a Garrett core. You can tell by the the the, the nomenclature, the the part number inscribed in the intercore. That's a Garrett core. This this core does not have the Garrett nomenclature. Or on the bottom. It does not have it. And another thing is, is if you look at this inner core, the way that it's constructed, and you look at this inner core, it's not the same. We're back here in the car, George, with the new busher race front mount. We have not changed anything on the car, not the tune-up or the boost or anything. We're going to log a pole. The cool temp's gotta get up a little bit warmer, and then we're, we're gonna log a pole. What happens with the air intake temps? Seventeen, the top. Just hold on. Let's just take a look at the data here. Look at the power we picked up. Jesus Christ, man! Just changing the inner core, no tuning. Look at that difference in spool up, man. We're up to. Uh, hold on. What's the power, man? It's the second one. It's six, six twenty-two. We're up almost fifteen horsepower from the other one. Hold on. Let me. Look. Change it. We started at 116. You started at 116. Yeah, because it was heat soaked from the uh -huh. previous pull. And it went up only. It went up uh, to 132, 132 and then the, and then the run before that, and then it only went up at the very end of the pull. Only went up to 116. Dude, dude one more pull. We have to do it. Just go 160 well, let's, let's go see. one more. One more pull. That's it. Uh, the boost is holding better. The boost is holding better with this inner core. Really. Yep, it's not dropping quite as much. It's just 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 around two psi before we were dropping almost three. Official power, bro. It, it started at 120 from the heat soak. Only went up to 133. Big difference, man. That's impressive. It really works. There, we're in. All right, from just putting the Busher Race FMIC on, bolting it on, not doing one tuning change, we gained already... There you go. 
You'll see over here the first pull we did just now was 622 through number 329. First pull we did with the Brand X intercooler, four and a half inch core. Our first pull was 611, or no, 608, I'm sorry. So already there was a gain of 14 wheel horsepower just by swapping in the smaller intercooler by Butcher. Not bad, not oh. bad. Well, we made a believer out of you, yes? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. You know what, in, in, in some cases, you know, it depends on the I product. I feel like Brand X lied to me, straight to my Well, face. I don't know if they lied to you or not, but yeah. you know, it, the Busher intercore is hard to beat, man. As yeah. far as the uh, intercore for these type of cars, it's very hard to beat. Now, when the car was completely heat soaked over here, we were having a lot of knock with the third pull. Right. So, well, I think what we should do is let the car cool down and we'll, and we'll try to uh, squeeze in a little bit more power. And right. the car's gonna make some more power. When it's heat soaked, it's definitely knocking. But the other one, it was knocking even worse. It was, it was horrible, man. The other one was, uh, I think it's all the way at the max. It's basically at over four volts, so it's re it's returning timing it. Pulled, yeah, what and the, the air temperature. You're right. You're right. 161 degrees. So you can see that the difference between the Busher and the Brand X, that's actually a little bit larger than the Busher, is almost 30 degrees difference. Yes. And the starting point of the pull was the same, the same 120 degree range. Yep. So the increase with the other Brand X is over 40 degrees. With the Busher, it only went up 10 to 15 yep. degrees. That, that's the fair comparison of the first run versus the, with the Brand it's X intercore. Too, right? Yeah, because it's a smaller volume. This thing has got a huge, it's got a huge volume here that you have to fill up. Yeah. So it, it creates lag. Now the car is responding quicker and making more power, yep. and it's managing the the thermal demands better. The only thing is that dip. Well, we have to take care of the tuning. The yeah. car needs to be tuned. That's it. So right now. Um, on the first pull, you can see that the car spooled up quicker, wow. significantly quicker, and made more power first pull versus power first pull. Yeah. Same tuning, same boost, we haven't adjusted yeah. for it, we haven't done anything. Exactly. The car obviously needs some tuning in here yeah. to adjust for the change. I just like to add that after my years, of experience working on my Evo, which is right behind me, right back there. The way that we work is we test our theories. We keep an open mind, do not hold firm to one belief and be unflexible in opinion. We test things and we see what works and what does not work. When I saw Suman's Brand X front mount intercooler making such high intake charge temps, I theorize that the Busher race front mount is a better product. Why? Because that's what I have on my car. And I know what it does on my car, so I theorize that by putting it on his car, that will also work. Find something a little more interesting. Beautiful black Porsche Turbo. We're gonna see what kind of power we can make with this sucker right here. That'll be another chapter of Black Soul Out. What is your... Uh what was your take at the final conclusion of the of the testing? I mean, come on, man. Busher one was way, way better at what it needs to do. It's keep my AITs down, keep me making more power, and keep me happier. Before the most power we made on pump gas was around 6:30, right? Yeah, but that was 6:30 unsafe. Now we're making 6:52 safely. So. so, but more in a hotter day. We and usually tune boost. at we usually tune at night. Yeah, and less now boost. Yeah, so less boost. So. You're going to go to the track, you're going to meet up with Mr. Shark Bite yeah, today? Yeah, man. Uh, hopefully, All right. hopefully yeah. Take her down the track. Hopefully it should trap 138 or better. Yep. That's, That's what I like to see. That's it. If you can get those shifts down. Oh, I'll get those shifts. I have a hard time with that, man. Nice car, man. Yeah, but see, I don't How you like the, that Porsche? Do you miss, the, you miss your Porsche? I don't Porsche? have the pinks that I, I need to I know. You know, worry about, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you you miss, miss that makes you miss your you Porsche? Know, that's, that's your not, Porsche looks the same, right? No, nah, man, my Porsche looks ridiculous. No, but I mean, it's the same model, right? Same. Yeah, it's same 996, uh, full GT2 clip. Nice. I have a GT2 tail lid, uh, nice. twin 35R, 3.8 nice. liter setup. Nice. Well, at least you got your, your Evo to keep you company. Dude, the Evo will yeah, fucking sure. shit on my Porsche quarter mile. Are you kidding me? Wow. Let's, let's get real here. Nice. Yeah? Nothing launches like an Evo. Well, or wait till we get that thing on race gas. You're going to fucking, you know. <laughs> yeah, but maybe, could... maybe the train will fall out, and then uh, it'll be back in the shop again for eight months, right? 